Hi, I'm Joe Christensen, founder of Detroit Machine Tools and Automate CNC. Today we're out in Portland, Oregon, visiting an Automate CNC customer, Jarrett Hall. Jarrett's a unique individual with a unique approach to his application for our machine. He is an electrical engineer and also a self-taught machinist. And he has ideas of uh, ways that he can move into parts production for himself as a, as a machinist and as a, as a machine shop owner. Currently, most of our customers are existing businesses that are bringing Automate CNC uh, lays and mills into their businesses at a lower cost. Uh, this machine behind me actually is going out to uh, Balin Industries, a well-known valve manufacturer out in Oklahoma City. And uh, we have had several videos of customers who had Kickstarter projects. Uh, but today with Jarrett, it's again a, a bit of a unique situation. Uh, he has reasons why he wants to do this business, and uh, so we'll just let him tell his story. Automate CNC. All right, my name is Jarrett Hall, and I'm an electrical engineer. I'm a single dad, and I would like to I would like to work at home so I could be around my kids more. Um, I've got a little bit of a chance to do that with this machine because the people at work actually paid me to stay home for a week to make some parts for them. When I looked around at machines, there was uh, some options. I looked at Tormac and I looked at some used Haas lathes. I even put a, a bid on one. Before I found these guys, these guys seemed like a sweet spot where at an approachable price for a real industrial machine. So here's just a random object that I made when I was learning how to use the lathe. I wanted to use a left hand tool and a right hand tool and even a cutoff tool to do this this finning. With the great variety of tools on here you can see that this was cut with both a left and a right hand tool and it looks really nice. The diameter on all of these sections was cut with a different tool and they're all dead on. So here's some uh, some parts that I made on this lathe. Um, these are not done yet um, but uh, these this is the lathe portion and um, this is this will be a spring-loaded engraving tool holder. Um, these these parts are this is the finish I got off of the lathe. One of the dimensions that I really care about is this shank dimension because you want it to be 0.5 minus less than a thousandths because if you get it's supposed to fit in in a, a machine tool and uh, you don't want it to be too sloppy in there. I mic out every one of these when I make them and they're all the same. What I see is after about five parts in stainless steel, it'll be about a, a tenth of a thou thicker, which appears to be, you know, wear on the tool tip. And so every now and then I just creep it up two tenths on the tool offset and keep making them. For after making a dozen or so of these parts and changing the tool offset in stream a little bit, they're all good to within about 0.4 thou. So they measure 0 0.5000 and an extreme spread of minus uh, 0.4 from there. Regardless of what your thoughts are of how you might use an automate CNC lather mill, uh, we'd like you to give us a call. But particularly if you're a, a less experienced machinist but you have the desire to work into a manufacturing business of your own, please give us a call. We have people in our company who have experience building machine shop businesses. We can certainly talk to you. We're not going to pressure you. And uh, we think that we have a great product that fits in well in the marketplace and that you can get a good quality production grade CNC machine at a very reasonable price, along with good support. Give us a call. Thanks for stopping by.